glasses fox is back. I apologize again. I'm just lazy and I like to see and not wear contacts. So here we are. I'm sure at least one of you enjoys glasses fox. Maybe I'm just being overly optimistic. If this isn't relevant to the video, what am I telling anyone? This reminds me when I was in high school, when I had gotten my glasses, I was on some like web chatting site. I forget what it was called. I was on it and some dude was trying to like hit on me, but he was telling me that I was pretty, but I'd be so much prettier if I had glasses and like he only dates girls with glasses or he can only be interested in girls with glasses. And so I whipped out my glasses and put them on and then like, never talk to him again. <laughs> I don't know, all right. I've also got weird anime hair happening today. It's fine, that's what the hat is for, to maybe distract at least one of you. Anyway guys, I'm Fox and I'm here with another unboxing. It's giant, it's called the Nick Box and we are going to open it. So I did get sent this for free, but you guys know that I'm always honest, almost brutally so at times. So if I don't like this box, I'm gonna let you know that I don't like this box. So I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. This box is kinda out of my price range. It's $49.99 a box, not including shipping. So basically, it's a $50 box. Uh, and $50 for a box, it better be phenomenal. Like. It better blow my mind for $50 because as a cosplayer and a YouTuber, $50 is a prop, a wig, a new costume piece, a con ticket, like 50 bucks ain't cheap. Right now they have two boxes on their website that you can buy that you can see the inside of. Um, this is the live action 90s Nick box and the other one is uh, Nick Cartoons Rewind. I will totally admit that I watched a lot of Nick, like 90s cartoons. I didn't watch a whole lot of the live action, so we will see what I even know from this box. In the comments, just tell me how stupid I am and let me know what it's all from or what your favorite 90s Nick live action was. <laughs> the link for the website will be in the description. Let's open it. Okay, so to start, it's got all of the logos in here. So it's got Are You Afraid of the Dark, Nickelodeon Guts, Clarissa Explains It All, The Adventures of Pete and Pete, Double Dare. You can't really see anything because that's what it uh, looks like. But if I take out all the fluff, this is what it looks like. So it does come with a card. So the first item is from Good Burger. It's packed like this. And it says that it's a Good Burger apron and hat. Now I have a friend who like really loves Good Burger, so this is definitely gonna go to him if he wants it. Um, if you guys saw the Five Nights at Freddy video, Cosplay Mutt, uh, I'm already wearing a hat, but I'm just gonna slide that on. So it's like the work hat from Good Burger. And then this apron, this is a tiny apron, wait. How far does this go down? Yeah, that, I mean, it's not bad. It's just a short apron. It's actually pretty nice quality. Um, the logo is, it seems like it's not gonna break or rip or anything. Quality straps, it's got a Nickelodeon. So on this, it says the Nick box on it. So I don't think this is like official Nickelodeon merch. I think it was made for this box, but I don't actually know because I was never like, looking for Good Burger merch. Next we've got a hat, and it's the hat from Pete and Pete. It says Little Pete's trademark red and black flannel cap. Now I've never even heard of Pete and Pete, um, but now I've got their hat. <laughs> it's a little bit of a dopey hat, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna put back my beanie on. I've never seen the show, but it is like a nice flannel hat. Feels good quality. It has Nickelodeon like sewn into the back. It is not adjustable though. So if you have a big head, probably won't be able to wear it. Oh, geez. All right, so this is the piece of an aggro crack from Guts. It says, do you have it? Also, this is like the most fluorescently green thing ever. Nickelodeon Guts. Very cool. I mean, I would attribute this to like getting a figure from a different box. So if you really loved Guts, this would be cool to have and put somewhere. It is like 
so you can't even like see it on this camera but it's so glowy green i don't know it's really cool i like want to put it in the light and see if i gain superpowers <laughs> i don't know next up is clarissa explains it all you get uh it says write and decorate notes with this notebook and sticker set so it's i guess the notebook from clarissa explains it all uh it says nickelodeon on the back and then the sticker set you can kind of see it says no brothers way cool clarissa explains it all my stuff hands off keep laughing scuzz brain you make me want to barf just a plain notebook so if you liked clarissa explains it all it's pretty cool to have and use. Next up, uh, I hate this. <laughs> I watched the show, but I hate this. It's, it's a Double Dare Picket Nose Tissue Dispenser. It says, decorate your tissue boxes with this replica of the nose from the Double Dare Obstacle Course. Now, I used to love Double Dare, but I liked a lot of the other obstacles more than the nose. Oh, I hate this. So it's got, you know, this, you put your tissues through it and then you can pull it out the nose. I hate it. <laughs> it works for any standard square box of tissue. It's, it's just gross, I'm sorry, I'm putting it away. Um, if you liked Double Dare, which I did, and you don't mind the nose thing, this is for you. No thanks. Uh, next up is an Are You Afraid of the Dark flashlight. I don't even know if it will focus on the flashlight but maybe. So I'm not gonna lie, it is just a flashlight. But it has the Midnight Society on it. It says, uh, established 1991. Uh, so I do like that. I think that's really cool. I do like that it's small because I use tiny flashlights all the time for like LARPing and stuff. So this will absolutely get use of it. I like that it says the Midnight Society. I like that it says the year. And I like this because it's just like such a random fandom merch. Like, can you imagine just like giving someone this and being like, oh, here's my flashlight and someone being like, is this from Are You Afraid of the Dark? No. <laughs> I like obscure fandom things, so I like this. This is very cool. Oh my God. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this and do this. This was like, it was in like all the Nickelodeon commercials was just this stick. And I vaguely remember like as a child, like really just hating it. But like, it's hilarious. Why am I so excited about decorating a stick? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Nickelodeon! Ah! Okay, this was really fun. I don't know why. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this other than like maybe stick it in like a pencil holder cup and laugh at it, but... Next we've got a tattoo from the Adventures of Pete and Pete. It is a lady laying down and it says Petunia Tattoo. Flex the muscles on your arm to help Petunia dance. I guess I'm gonna do this. All right, so for the moment of truth. It kinda worked. It is coming up a little bit, but it's there. Uh, this is obviously one use only. So for the last item, which is probably what I love the most, it is a Legend of the Hidden Temple Shrine of the Silver Monkey puzzle. And it says, assemble your own mini version. It comes with this cool box. It has a really good weight to it. Um, it's definitely not super cheap. <laughs> but, uh, is that it? All right, so it only comes apart into three pieces. So I don't know if I would call this a puzzle. Like it's fine. It's cool, reminds me of the show, it's great. But just the fact that it's called a puzzle. So, I mean, it's all right. I like it though. I will actually put this somewhere because Legend of the Hidden Temple was awesome. So, overall, what do I think? If you really, really loved Nick 90s live action stuff, this is a great nostalgia box. It looks like it's a lot of stuff that you can't get anywhere else, which is great. It definitely has a good amount of products for the money. I mean, you've got basically two figures, notebook stickers, a hat, an apron, another hat a temporary tattoo, a tissue dispenser, a sticky stick, and a flashlight. So I could see if you bought all of this, it would cost like 50 bucks. So I definitely think it's worth the money if you like 90s live action. If you only know like one or two things from this box, I don't, I probably wouldn't say it's worth $50. Like for example, out of this box, 
there's only a couple of things I really like, so I probably wouldn't buy this box personally. That being said, the Nicktoons box, which is the same price, I probably would have liked a lot more out of that, so I probably would be okay with spending that money for something like that. Really, it's all just personal preference. This isn't really the case of it's a bad quality box. It's a very good quality box, as long as you like the stuff in it. That's all I can really say about it. But thank you to the Nick Box for sending me one of these. It was definitely fun to receive and open. I was not expecting it to be so big. Definitely check out the links in the description, guys. And yeah, as always, guys, my name is Fox. Thank you all very much for watching, commenting, subscribing, and all way in advance. And uh, as always, I love you guys very, very much, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.